hi. How you feeling? How you doing? Nikwambia una ni confuse kama jo nani jo baby ama kwambia una ni affect. <laughs> una ni suffocate. Mhm mm customer. Karibu in the morning. <laughs> You can find us on what on Facebook, what for channel on Twitter, hashtag is what in the morning or WCW. So it is that time to have strong people. P I say people because two Wednesdays or one, two, two Wednesdays ago, we had a gentleman. So I'm just going to say strong. Strong people are going to come and they're going to tell us the experience, tell us what they're doing in the world to make it a better place. Q in Michael Jackson. A hey, hashtag what in the morning made of Val or at color me Val. But Chamuhimuni Nancy Kimani today. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing good. First of all, you look amazing. Thank you. If I had not told you, you look fantastic. You look like you're about to go to some party <laughs> after this. In a pleasant to listen to my book, I'm working at 59. It's okay. It is what it is. Please introduce yourself to the people. Yeah, my name is Nancy Kimani. I'm a student at Kiriri Women's University. Mm -hmm. And I'm also a founder of Spirit of Giving Community Based Organization. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm 19 years old. <laughs> Yeah, I was not found in anything when I was 19. <laughs> in fact, I was busy trying to help myself. I was discovering things and things that are not, I am not able <laughs> to say out loud on TV, <laughs> but it is what it is. What inspired you and why at 19? Okay, personally, mm -hmm. I'm into leadership. Mm -hmm. um, so way back in high school, I was really interested in in mentorship. Mm -hmm. uh, so did you have a mentor yourself? Sorry. Personally, mm -hmm. no. Mm -hmm. I did not have. I wanted to become a problem solver in the community. So I tried to, to look for some ways on how I can be able to help out. So what happened is when I was in high school, I did not love how the mentors used to mentor us. You know, at Inilianza Sijui na Kukumoja. I'm sure you also used to get such stories. Mm -hmm. As in, there was a lot of illusions. They were not straightforward on how they are mentoring us. Mm -hmm. So I was like, um, what if there will be a young generation, mm -hmm. uh, young people who will be telling us facts, telling us the real things, telling us this and this is what happens. Mm -hmm. And I came to realize that there were no... Uh, there were no young people who could mentor the young generation. When you look at the campus, I mean to the you know, the high school level, we could get the the mentors who could come to school to mentor the the, t the students. It is what was there. Mm -hmm. So I got really motivated, Sana. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I, I want to say that what you're saying sounds a little bit like the current it's something that they're celebrating in the united states where we have the first female first mm -hmm. female vice president she, not only is she female but she is of color that means she's black mm -hmm. and she's also of asian descent and i am sure just seeing her face just being called vice president elect is enough for a whole generation of shorties who have dreams who want to do big things is that what you had in mind when you started this okay personally um i guess i knew what i really wanted in life when i was in high school i used i used to also study mm -hmm. or during the holidays you know uh, because i guess the the age level so i was more into focusing and i knew what i wanted in life so um when during holidays i could study entrepreneurship i was under an organization which could keep me busy holiday yeah holidays yani umefunga shule eh yeah, sana shule bali randa so what was the session so uh during that organization I had a lot of interest. So they were teaching about entrepreneurship, financial capa capability, social asset building. So I used to find that I'm the one who is teaching them, not them t uh, teaching me. Wow. So I developed some interest, trying to involve myself into lively activities. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to tell you a secret. When I was in high school, I was, I was a geek. Like in Kona Pena Kusoma Sana. Sana Sana. And that kind of uh, set me apart from very many people. Joa kwa nani elewa. Wengine wana ruka fence kuenda sujui wapi. Yeah, sure. Mimi ni kwa hapo ni mengangana. Kusoma, ni mengangana, ni mengangana, ni mengangana. So how did you, how did you, 
work through that because I'm sure when you're yeah. very headstrong when when you know what you want and you're not afraid to mm -hmm. say it I'm sure they're kind of that uh, some type of people who will tell you you know what able to learn I mean chill just relax just have fun you're in high school your law you only live once and all these things how did you go through that okay so back in high school mm -hmm. okay the life was very difficult for me uh, personally mm -hmm. and 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 when people are going to eat or maybe do something together there is all people could sit in a group mm -hmm. I guess it's all the uh, high schools usually sit in a group mm -hmm. talking so I used to find that when they are talking I find myself asking myself a lot of questions mm -hmm. like what are they saying mm -hmm. I used to get that ashamed Oh. Like uh, you don't know Sheng, mm. so you find yourself Rajitenga. Mm. So what I decided is that is not that is not the way I'm supposed to stay. So I have to go on with my own life. So I used to be alone. I became a leader. So I was a focused person. And in terms of leadership, it was also another thing which was so stressful <laughs> because I really wanted, I used to fight for the rights of, of the students, mm -hmm. for gender equality, I mean for equality, mm -hmm. if it is duties, distributing very them equally. Yeah, so I was just focused. They say it's lonely at the top. Is it true? <laughs> yeah, sure. It is. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm so impressed by you and everything. <laughs> but okay, let's get into the meat of the matter. What do you do? When did you fi find it? Because you're a founder, that means mm -hmm. you found it. So yeah. when did you find it? <laughs> so, <laughs> um, when I cleared high school, now that is coming next year, that was last year. Mm -hmm. Last year I was 18 years. So I was really, I thought that life could be very easy to get you need to to reach my goals to reach the opportunities that i really needed so life in that journey was not that much easy because i wanted to grab everything i was like i'm done with the high school mm -hmm. so this is my time to to get the opportunities and to do what i love my passion such things like those ones so i tried to uh, to i've ever been confused you're just confused you're like you're so muchly confused, you don't know where to go, mm -hmm. you don't know how to start it because I don't have someone to guide me. Mm -hmm. It is only me who knows what I can do, what I'm capable of doing. So I'm just like that. So not unless I involve myself using my phone uh, to enter online, get to know people, mm -hmm. people to help me out to reach my visions, to reach my goals, though it was not an easy journey. Mm -hmm. So last year, I worked for a team. Mm -hmm. It was known as A2J Crew Africa that was addicted to Jesus. Mm -hmm. So I worked for them. Um, it was just like a charity work, mm -hmm. but, but that group, it was all about ministry, mm -hmm. ministry of God, mm -hmm. going to win souls. So I thought it was my, it was my vision, like this is where I will, I will do it to the next level. Mm -hmm. So I continued with the journey we did together. I gave them ideas. I had ideas with me. So I could give people ideas, they work on it, but unfortunately they, they did not work on it. I stayed around six months. Mm -hmm. I quitted this year. Mm -hmm. So there, you know, I'm just learning. I'm learning things, getting to know people, uh, getting to interact myself with different leaders of different university. Then I can I a passion a mentorship. Mm -hmm. So I tried to make groups. We make groups more than ten times failing. Group your was up, huh? Like group, you know, you can't do alone. You can't do charity or mentorship alone. Mm -hmm. You have to work with a team mm -hmm. who believes in you. I made a group of almost 10 times failing. What happened? What failed? Is it that the people were not as passionate as you were, or they were not available? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now, like the first one I made it, um, Yani I made several, several. So the first one I made it, it did not work. It became a dating site. Up to date, they are dating. Allah. <laughs> I do a level one a date, by the way. Okay. Those people, those teams. Oh, thank you for putting people <laughs> together, although that was not the point. <laughs> yeah, that was not the point. So I was like, if these people have turned into dating, automatically we can't walk this journey together. Because what you're talking about So we can't walk the journey together. So I decided to slash it away. 
mm -hmm. he came up with another one moja kenda maju and it also became my dating site so mm -hmm. i had to slash it off mm -hmm. then i tried i tried i kept trying 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 Why because i was that? passionate about it mm -hmm. because I could not have peace in my heart because my heart was just beating for the youths, for the teenagers, mm. something like that. Mm -hmm. you know, you're not sleeping, you can't sleep because mm -hmm. you're feeling that you have not yet done something. Mm -hmm. It's just like you come, in, uh, you come and give someone an idea, but those people are not buying the idea. Mm -hmm. It's just that you, you don't know the way forward to go about it. So uh, I met now that group known as A to J Crow Africa. Uh, I thought that was my dream come true. Mm -hmm. I learned a lot. I can't regret being with them. I learned a lot. I learned the challenges on how to work with people. So, I left that group because on the way, I, I started going to universities to mentor the university students. Mm -hmm. I've gone to a university of Nairobi, Kabete. What year are you in? <laughs> and what's giving you so I'm much? I'm a first year. That what's, time I'm a first year. What's giving you confidence to start talking <laughs> to people older than you? So, yeah. like, it just comes automatic. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, like, so a guy uh, known as Tony Manyara could call me out for the talks, for the mentorship. So I got famous in your own Kabete wow. because that passion is shall grow. Mm -hmm. So then I started going to ICS college in Thika. Wow. But now that one was tricky, like, how can you go to advise people of your own age? Mm -hmm. it's, it sounds funny. Like, it sounds funny going to mentor the, you're the same level, all of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I had to do it. It's, it just came automatic. I started going to a high school campus. Yeah, okay. you, you know it's just because I can hear the passion in your voice. Otherwise, nge kuwa strange and kuli zarada na kirere. Like why are you advising me and we are together? Yeah, on sure. The same page. How did you overcome that? Like now, um, personally, I believe I believe in greatness mm -hmm. and I believe in leadership of a woman. And because a woman can be able to do anything, mm -hmm. you can also be able to multitask. And um, a lady she's passionate and she can be able to do anything like i knew that everything is possible mm -hmm. i know i can make it i knew that i can make it personally mm -hmm. and so I, like i told you is i like being a problem solver mm -hmm. according to if it is my friends if it is family or anywhere so i like to look for solutions like now when i look at my circle most of the people have kids mm -hmm. most of the people like your age mates yeah, my age mates. Mm -hmm. And I was like, if if these people if these people they don't they don't get someone who can support them, either not financially mostly, uh, mostly the physically, the emotional love, who will mentor them? Who will guide them? Mm -hmm. So I have to I have to keep on pushing to show them that everything is possible. And making a mistake, it's not the end of life. Mm -hmm. You can be able to to go to the next level and you can be able to be a motivation to the to the next generation mm -hmm. looking at this time that there is high teenage pregnancies which have risen and i'm 100 percent sure by the by few years to come we'll be having a lot of single mothers mm -hmm. and we also need to hold them and work with them this journey together mm -hmm. yeah Whose voice am I listening to? <laughs> Is it your mom or your dad? Because someone must have given you this wisdom. No, 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 no. no. Even my mom cannot be able to stand this <laughs> belly hour <laughs> too. Wow. Yeah, so I used to, I used to, any used to, I also believe in people. Mm -hmm. I believe in people. I believe, I believe in listening to an ear mm -hmm. because there is also depression. Depression is running. Yeah, a lot of things are happening to the youths, mm -hmm. but they just need someone who can listen to them, mm -hmm. someone who can hear them. Mm -hmm. But now, so I went, uh, now January came, mm -hmm. Corona came. So after quitting, it took me like four months to know which is the next step, mm -hmm. which is the next step. If I may interrupt you, what did you do for those four months? Because as four? much as, what did you do in those four months after you quit? Uh -huh. Sometimes, 
unajua vile mtu anaangalia anga mtu kwa TV ana na ameomoka. Mm. Yeah. So I expect ulikuwa siku moja ulikaa hivi ukaomba ukasema Mungu tu msaidie tu. <laughs> Alafu the next day kafanyika and then shwa ushakuwa sasa. <laughs> I need them to understand that there mm -hmm. are some days you won't want to do what you love to do. I need them to understand that it's hard. I need them to understand that that's part of the process. Ndio ukigongwa na masaibu tafadhali don't think it's very strange or it's very unique to you. No, it happens to everyone. So what did you do in those four months? Okay, like what I can say is um, when I was first of all let me go back to when I was in high school. Mm -hmm. I used to pray for my future. Mm -hmm. I used to say this and this is what I want to do. You speak it into You life. speak it. Mm -hmm. I speak it. Mm -hmm. I spoke it. Like an example is, I, uh, before deciding on which course I wanted to do, mm -hmm. I used to tell people, you see, you see I, uh, that magazine or mm -hmm. that newspaper, mm -hmm. I used to read newspapers, getting knowledge like, you know, I was much interested into, into the world, mm -hmm. uh, getting to know and to learn ideas and I had some tips of what I really wanted. So when we were selecting some courses on what to do, I used to tell my friends, mm -hmm. by the way, why don't you do um, why don't you do business administration? Mm. That is the best course. That is that is a unique course in terms of business. It is wide. So I used to find myself advising people in terms of business. Mm -hmm. So I was advising them to do business. So uh, I used also to to declare mm -hmm. to declare i had a strong faith in mm -hmm. me mm -hmm. i used to say i will go to a university but i did not tell you i cannot i could not tell you which university i will go mm -hmm. so i could say i will go to a university i wanted to do like something which i'll be talking mm -hmm. i don't want a course in here. it will hinder me from my passions mm -hmm. i just need something for talking talking, sharing ideas, being passionate about it. But now, there are a lot of challenges because no one understands you. Mm -hmm. You want to do this, you want to do this, you want to do this, you want to do this. Like I could find myself, I'm all around. Mm -hmm. I can do anything, by the way. Mm -hmm. I can do anything. Mm -hmm. but I'm in this side, I'm in this side, I'm in that side. So, until my parents could ask me, are you not seeing that you're confusing your life? Mm -hmm. Pick one thing Pick one and thing. stick to it. I have also had that one. <laughs> mm. But now my parents were very supportive. Yani in ile opole, they could tell me, are you not seeing that you're confusing yourself? Mm. Uh, because you are good at this side, you are good at this side. You are good at that side, you are good at that side. Why don't you choose something? You just do one thing. At least, at least you don't... You don't limit yourself, mm -hmm. but I don't have any problem you doing all of them. That is what she told me. Mm -hmm. So earlier this year, challenges were very many as a lady. As a lady, many people will discourage you because they're seeing the passion in you. Mm -hmm. They're seeing a lot in you. And others will also approach you for sex so that they give you that Good chance. Good job. Thank you for saying that. Please, excuse me, I don't know who needs to hear this, but please normalize doing business with ladies without wanting to have sex with them. Thank you. Sure. Are you okay? Hashtag one morning. Continue. So you mm -hmm. find that a lot of people, they, are, they see what it is in you. And they're like, let's do this. Give me this and give you this. Mm -hmm. Give me this and give you this. And I was like, no, I don't do that. And if it will take me long, no problem. I will just wait. When God's time come, he will do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. So uh, I kept on pushing, pushing, but, but people could just approach you, mostly the men. Mm. They think that you're desperate, by mm. the way. Oh. They think that you're desperate mm. since they want... Uh, they tell you that, oh, I can support your project. Mm -hmm. What you will do is just give me sex. Mm -hmm. I give you money. I connect you with so and so and so mm -hmm. and so. And I'm like, no, I don't do such things. Mm -hmm. I believe in God and, and the right time will come. I know it is not the right time right now. Mm -hmm. So I'll just keep on pushing. Yes, so <laughs> Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, but life is mm -hmm. not going to be able but this is where I am because I believe in who I am. Mm -hmm. So earlier this year, that is January, the journey was just smooth and I was like feeling to quit the team that I was working with. But now, I'm always patient. Mm -hmm. I like giving a person an 
an ear and eye to see so you know, kuna, there is how you can tell yourself you can send something mm -hmm. but you have to be patient at least you have a clear thing mm -hmm. had to be patient now i quitted though it was it was not that good i quitted in a let me say in a badly way mm -hmm. i quitted in a badly way so it took me time to heal it took me four months to heal to heal up that that i've ever been betrayed by someone like i've never been betrayed by someone preach, sister, <laughs> preach. Mm -hmm. so me personally i've never been betrayed by person mm -hmm. by anyone mm -hmm. so that was my first time to be betrayed it doesn't completely. Feel nice, does it to be betrayed completely. Okay. The next day you're still thinking about it. You sleep, wake up, still thinking about so it. So like me, like I used to, I'm very good. Yani, I have that heart of giving. Mm -hmm. So I give almost everything. I, yani, I'm always there for all my friends, for anyone, even for a stranger. I make friends very fast and I trust very fast. By that time I used to trust very very fast i like that you said by that time so life you make bigger my body <laughs> so that time, that time i used to trust okay i actually trust people very fast mm -hmm. personally i trust very uh, very fast because of intelligence i'm always attracted to intelligence My sap is that true okay mm -hmm. so i'm always attracted to intelligence when i find you are intelligent mm -hmm. automatically I'll get attracted to you mm -hmm. Because I would like to learn something from you. And even if you are my friend or if we meet today, I'll have to learn something from you. That is a sure bet. Mm -hmm. I like learning ideas from people. Mm -hmm. Either you, we meet today or we meet any time. Mm -hmm. That is a must. Mm -hmm. There is nothing new in terms of mentorship. I just grab what you say, grab that, grab that, grab that, combine them. Wow. So that is what I do. Mm -hmm. Like I... I will make sure any type of friend that I get or anyone I usually meet, I have to learn one idea from that person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I got time to heal. It was not easy. I I used to pray to God like Manze God mm -hmm. I used to pray to God like I'm very pushed but now I'm like zero level. You have no friends. Because you've been betrayed, because the kitchen was it was very it was very bad mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. It I guess it was just a changing point of my life. Mm -hmm. I did not know. That's why I say that it was God's plan. So during the four period month, I was like thinking, ah, what can I do? I was like, what if I do this? Eh? What if I be sharing ideas with people who are interested? They be sh I be giving I be giving them ideas. They buy it, but me I don't work. Like I don't be part of it. Yani ni kwa behind the scenes mm -hmm. because I'm very passionate about this thing, but I don't have people to work with. Mm -hmm. So I was like, let me do this. I share ideas with someone. They do it. Bora uh, sema tu na mimi na e apana. I just want to be behind the scene. That that way my heart will be very happy. Mm -hmm. That is what I wanted. But now I joined myself. First of all, I had already deleted all the contacts. Mm -hmm. I did not have anyone. It was me and my family. Mm -hmm. Because I needed that time to heal, to compose myself, to wake up, you know, to think. It took me almost four months to think what is the next level to do. Imagine I can relate. I, I can truly relate to what you're saying. You know, sometimes life can put you to your knees. Sure. You don't even understand. Suddenly, yeah. it is what it is. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Mm -hmm. Like now, before Corona came, mm -hmm. that was 14th March. I was in a... I was in Karuri High School. Mm -hmm. That was the largest number I've ever mentored my whole life. Mm -hmm. They were 1,200 students. Wow. So that time, then the next, now because I was a leader, you know, so now that team before I quitted, I had to multitask myself mm -hmm. to balance myself. I attend this one, I attend this one at the afternoon. Mm -hmm. So I just went, life is in a bit, but like I used to pray to humble myself. And I tell God, God just open, do, yeah, just do your ways. Because 
because I don't know what is about to happen next. Like, I've ever been not having anyone. Like, you've been betrayed by those close people who you were just close with them. You did work together, but now, psh, mm -hmm. what you do, you yani because they have been told bad things about you. And they believe, and, and they believe it. You know, there are those people who have covers. Mm -hmm. Like, now, an example, if someone comes and says that you're bad, mm -hmm. no one will ever believe. Because that is how you have carried yourself mm -hmm. in terms of how you maybe you do your things. So it, you have a cover of friends mm -hmm. who just cover you up. But me, I did not have a cover. Mm -hmm. I did not have a cover. The only cover which I had, it was God. Mm -hmm. And I stood with saying the truth. Mm -hmm. Because when you do something wrong, I will always tell you you have done something bad. Mm -hmm. So I could tell you. But now, uh, telling someone the truth, it's... Just telling someone the truth. You're like, you're not doing something good just like that. Not <laughs> But okay, continue. Mm -hmm. So, uh, life continued. I gave up ideas. I gave ideas to different friends. Uh, others used it. Others did not use it. Were you getting paid for these ideas? No, 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 no. Like, give you for free. Yeah, I come and tell you, hey, why don't you try to do this and this and this? But now, you will see yourself that, and yeah, this is a nice idea. Then on the way to Nakosana na wewe. Any some pity pity things. And me, I don't like having issues with people. And I was too good. I was too, and I'm too good. Mm. I find myself just being too good. So, I seated like this. I thought, I went to a charity event. Now my friends, uh, now other friends, not friends, mm. now other friends, we could do with them charity. So I said, kindly add me to all the charity groups that you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I thought, Kajuliza, what am I benefiting from all these charity groups? Mm -hmm. Nothing. Sorry. <laughs> okay, Sorry. what am I benefiting from them? Uh -huh. Nothing. I was like, nothing. Nothing. Because there's no any benefit. Like, you know, the, you have a call in you, but you don't know what's next. Mm -hmm. I would told myself, no, nah, come on, Nancy. There is nothing you're gaining from all this. I went and gave a friend of mine the idea. Like, this is this and this is what I want. But I don't want to have any leader. Mm -hmm. I want to be me. Mm -hmm. Only me alone. Mm -hmm. Because I know, to work with people sometimes, it's very stressful. Hey, say it again. We, it we, is we. very, very stressful. Because <laughs> 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 Like, let's say like we partner I and you mm -hmm. in terms of maybe a project. There is one who sells almost everything. Mm -hmm. Maybe you, you sell the group anywhere you go, mm -hmm. you sell everything. But now me on the other hand, I'm not maybe that socially to people, something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. At the moment when you do a project when you're two of you, it is a must. Mm -hmm. It is a must. Mm -hmm. Because one of the person will be thinking the other one is much better than the other. Or because any you know, there is a lot of things which might happen on the way. Mm -hmm. So I wanted like I wanted to be my own boss. Mm -hmm. Because I know what I want. This is this is me. This is this is what I love doing. Mm -hmm. So I decided. I gave a friend of you can create group kitambo. Mm. But take one of members. So, uh, so what I did is I create a group. So I think 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 I guess that was August. I think I think I think I what type of an event I can come up with. Because now I'm, I was now a bit confused. Mm -hmm. I, I gave a couple of friends of mine the ideas. Uh, not giving them an idea. When you want to, when you want to start something, mm -hmm. don't go and give your friends ideas. Mm -hmm. No. You tell them already what you have planned for. Mm -hmm. Because that person, I told you are not serious. You can have two thoughts. Mm -hmm. So me did not have thoughts. Mm -hmm. I had already worked on it. Mm -hmm. I, told, I told a couple of friends. The, the ones I don't know. Like now I don't know you. I just come and tell you, but they, this and this is what I'm interested in doing. I would like you to be supporting me. Mm -hmm. That is it. 
So I worked with people who I don't know them, like who don't know me. I do not want to work with people who know me because there'll be that jealousiness, enviness, and it will, could not progress. That is where I came to learn. Is, I came to learn something is never work with people who you know. Work with people who don't know you. That is very powerful. Are never you? work with people who you know. They will never help you. They will never. They will never help you. Because you will be loving, you will be having jealousy of the progressive of that someone. I used to think that women, we are our own worst enemies. Sure. We cannot stand to see each other rise. But I have had a group of friends and we, all we have ever done is just wanted the best for each other. They and come, that is good. Come on, Mimi Nikona. I'm up to say, me, I have confided in you. I've told you, okay, in mm. my life, no one has a job, no one has a pesa. Maybe for now, what I want now is to start a family. And I tell you that. Mm -hmm. And maybe, for example, where we stand up at a family in I had, I know, as, <coughs> as very much physically, I am sitting here, touching, touching things that there are people who will clap for you, even if that's what they want, but when do my partner, they will clap for you, like, good job. Sure. Like, kuna season. Season ya kondi hii, yangu inakam, sawa, but let us all be happy for each other. And I, we are not many. <laughs> <laughs> we are not. We are not many and have, see, I have looked. Eh, I have looked. But the ones that are there are true. Yeah, are sure. True. Sure, definitely they are true. So I came up with the group. I had to look for a name. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I guess the group, it was, it, I can say it was a foundation of prayers. Mm -hmm. I prayed. I prayed, I guess it's just a revelation of, of what I loved doing. And the group is named Spirit of Giving. Mm -hmm. uh, I named it Spirit of Giving because it's a gift. Not everyone can be able to give by the way. It's true. Not everyone can be able to give out something. So... I came up with the one I, okay, there is, now starting the foundation, Moja Kajaribu Kuyaribu, like she came, she wanted to be like the boys. Mm -hmm. oh, no, no. She wanted to be like the boys. And I refused. I removed them in the WhatsApp group. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. <laughs> because, because I, by that time, I really knew what I want. And singe penda mtu ani bring down mm -hmm. because I've struggled to be there because I failed severally almost ten times mm -hmm. coming up with that team. I told God, manze God, stagi ni me choka kungani shawatu kuwa na bana. Becoming a dating set. Even up to date, they are dating, and it is good until I had to tell God that is not what I want. <laughs> Okay, but you might be the start of a very happy marriage, no, but that was not the point. No, that was not the point. I was like, no, this is not what I want. I want something great. I wanted something big. So I came up with an idea. I came up with an event of, I was like, what type of an event can I do? Mm -hmm. I came up with a street kids event. Mm -hmm. I wanted to do it. Where was it? Uku town. Mm -hmm. No, Nikaketi Hivi. I've ever, your heart beats for mentorship, but before you reach there, stable. I've not been stable by that time. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know what I want. I, uh, I decided there is a lady in FB. I saw what she was doing, and I got interested in what she was doing. She could donate sanitary pads to the young ladies and talk to them. So she approached me. Mm -hmm. She told me, I love what you're doing now, me. I love what you're doing, and I would like you support me. Mm -hmm. I, I usually help the girl child, but now I don't have finances because, because of some few issues. So she was doing an event in Kibra. Mm -hmm. So I decided, I told her, no worry, uh, I'll know what I will do. Mm -hmm. Let me first, I'll just give you the feedback. I sat, hey, I reasoned. Mm -hmm. So I was very passionate about mentorship and I was like, how do I even, how do you even start by telling your parents, you know, first of all, I did not tell them. Before coming up with an event, I got a chance to act. Mm -hmm. 
so I'm also a local hey. I'm also <laughs> I'm an actress mm -hmm. at local TV mm -hmm. in Oro. Mm -hmm. So I act Kikuyu. Central Cinema. <laughs> Do you know Mabani? <laughs> no. <laughs> that car show. I just that I've forgotten his name. <laughs> I act Central Cinema, I'm an actress there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the local television. So before that chance came, mm -hmm. I was that in that process mm -hmm. of healing myself. So mm -hmm. uh, uh, a friend of mine, which, uh, who she is the president of Kiriri Women's University, and also a founder of Tuasilia Initiative, mm -hmm. I'm her treasurer. Wow. So she told me, I told her jokingly, by the way, me want to act. So you let me know a chance. Mm -hmm. And jokingly. I just a few days she she called me and told me hey we are going for a set and I'm like what personally I don't know how to speak Kikuyu mm -hmm. <laughs> like I remember you try to you try to see yourself and you're like there's some <laughs> people who speak much better than you so I'm going to Nairobi mm -hmm. so obvious it's not that fluent ah. I know you have to go our oh, director so you have to attend it is a must you attend and I'm like, how? Like, okay, I composed myself. Mm -hmm. But that was also a passion mm -hmm. in a back high school. Mm -hmm. So like, I'm all around, I can't do anything. Mm -hmm. I got a chance. I went, I did, I did not go for auditions, by the way. <laughs> oh yeah, well, you to Kazi. You to Oh, little. <laughs> okay. So we have some very interesting photos from Nancy's Instagram page. Maybe we can look at that before we go. Aki Jamani, one time you shave your community bamba. I don't understand what's going on. But anyway, as my very able team works on that, Nancy, how can we support you? So personally, mm -hmm. um, I've been doing mentorship in campus, high school, and community mm -hmm. right now. Now I'm into community. Um, I donate sanitary pads, soaps, tissues, yeah, and boxers. Mm -hmm. I mentor boy child and girl child. Mm -hmm. I mentor boy child and girl child. So, uh, anyone who has sanitary pads, anilete. Mm -hmm. eh, anilete, yeah, uh, or maybe boxers, if you would like to donate anything, you can always reach me out on my Facebook, I'm Nancy Kimani. You'll see just a picture of there of a lady who is who is holding sanitary pads. I be yeah <laughs> yeah. So I'm more into uh -huh. so I'm into mentoring the boy child and the girl child. You can donate any tissues, sanitary pads. Mm. Yeah. What are we looking at over here? Are the, what are these? What's going on here? So these one. Um, when you look at these, these are sanitary pads which were which were thrown for the girl child. As in disposed of? Yeah, like disposed they're of. They're used? No, they're not used. They're just thrown away? They were just thrown what away. What do you mean? These were just thrown away. This one was a picture of Kiambu County. This is Kiambu County uh, where the pads were just thrown. Yeah, so, so Mimi, like this one is just a post from a place where I just got it. Like it is very bad. This is just a disposal. Someone did this and it was very hurtful. You can imagine. So I had that that pain, like, why should someone dispose all these when I need these sanitary pads? This is the first time I'm seeing something like this in my life. So na easy, so na kuni kutupa zimetupa. How? <coughs> but okay, hashtag is uh, Wednesday morning. All right, what else are we looking at here? So this one is, we were donating at Kasarani Mweki. Mm -hmm. These are sanitary pads, as you can see. We have the panties. Now these ones were for the girl child, and yeah. Since you cannot two hips, you have to change. Okay, all right. So for Munki, was it like a home? Or? No, the, that one was we, like it was just a a place we had looked for, mm. and anyone who could be available could attend. Mostly the teenagers. We teach them about early pregnancies, uh, mental health, gender-based violence, and also the general life. And later we offer them sanitary pads mm -hmm. because not even, uh, not everyone can be able to afford mm -hmm. and just a full package and a panty. That one up there, it's a boxer. Wow. Mm. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, 
All right, so this is the last photo. What are we looking at? I think I'm seeing tissue. Yeah, tissues, and that one is a pad. Mm -hmm. So this one, it is at Kibra, Kibera. Mm -hmm. uh, here we had gone to mentor the girl child mm -hmm. and the boy child. So we donated for the both genders. So this is what we do. Mm -hmm. If anyone can be able to donate sanitary pads or tissues, mm -hmm. can always reach to me. Are you open to monetary compensation like instead of me going to buy parts I just give you money yeah you can you do okay all right so what would you like to tell the audience in conclusion in conclusion mm -hmm. what I can say is uh, I appreciate for everyone who has ever supported me either physically financially or emotionally we all appreciate and being a young youth I would like to I would like to to urge other youths can also come up with the same project to help the young generation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see, Mimi Kama Valentine, I have visions of voting for half a president <laughs> in the near future. But Africans, we are still telling women that they cannot eat certain parts of the chicken. <laughs> At what I found on Facebook, what I found channel on Twitter, hashtag is why in the morning. Thank you for staying with us on Strength of a Woman. I think this one is a bit more strength of a lady, seeing as how very, very young she is. But her passion <coughs> is the strength part, Sasa. My name is Val, or at Kalumi Val. Please do not go away. We are not done with you yet.